Allison here with another installment of my audio journal. As I've said before in other presentations, if you are a card-carrying member of the church and are happy with them, this video is not for you. It's not my intent to talk anyone out of their religion, and I wouldn't want you to waste a good chunk of your time having to do some ethics program for exploring other practices. So never mind me or my channel if this is you. Find something else to watch, and I wish you the best in moving up the bridge. And if you know a Scientologist, whether a friend, family member, or co-worker, kindly respect them by keeping your interest in this content to yourself. You only ever want to talk about our channel with people who have either had no involvement with the Church of Scientology to begin with, or have made a decisive break from the Church. This is why. Being an ex-Scientologist myself, I know that while I was a Scientologist, there wasn't a single individual, organization, friend or family member that could have possibly talked me out of it. Anyone who tried, I immediately considered an enemy to me, the organization, and mankind. It's not an attitude that was unique to me. It's cultivated in church members over time. I eventually let go of that attitude, along with the church itself, and now I do TROM instead. For those of you watching for the first time, TROM stands for the resolution of the mind, a self-studied, self-applied method of resolving your mental and spiritual condition that we make available to the public free of charge on this channel. It was researched and developed by Dennis Stevens, a former Scientology practitioner and friend of L. Ron Hubbard's. He designed it so that one could get comparable benefits to Scientology auditing, without the liabilities of having to spend money, see a separate practitioner, or answer to an organization. Now you may ask yourself, is TROM better than Scientology? Well, the answer to that depends on who you ask. A Scientologist doesn't believe there's anything better than Scientology. And I suppose that would be the correct attitude for anyone who's committed to a belief. And I am going to use the word belief, even though die-hard Scientologists will say they are practicing a technology, not a belief. The truth is, Scientology is both a technology and a belief. It's a technology that can lead you to higher states of spiritual awareness, and I will never lie to you on that point. It works. Period. The belief part is that nothing could ever possibly be better. Why? Well, because Ron says so. That's why. And that's the only thing that holds that belief together. Ron says you can't improve on Scientology, it's drilled into the minds of every Scientologist who has ever read and buys into his policy letter entitled Keeping Scientology Working, where he gives a very convincing, yet flawed argument as to why, and that's what it all boils down to. Scientology cannot be improved upon, because Ron says so. Now if Ron just said Scientology is the very best mankind has come up with so far, and nothing mankind has ever come up with even comes close to it, notwithstanding what I now know about TROM, that's probably something I could have gotten on board with and stayed on board with for the rest of my life. That's something that could at least be proven, though the proof still isn't going to satisfy everyone. But I'm sorry, unless you have a crystal ball, or can otherwise predict the future, you can't possibly say that nothing will ever be better. And I think Ron even knew that. It's terribly important to the church to convince everyone that Scientology is perfect. If they believed otherwise, the whole house of cards just falls apart. And that's what makes Scientology more of a religion than a technology, and when a Scientologist tells you that Scientology is purely a technology and not a belief system, you can know just how heavily mistaken they are. Just don't point it out to them if you want to keep them as a friend. If you know a Scientologist, unless he gives you reason otherwise, treat him with compassion and respect. He got into Scientology because he wants to help himself and others. Don't assume that because one member was accused of rape, that your Scientology neighbor is also a rapist. Don't assume that because some Scientology executive was violent, that all Scientologists are violent too. Don't assume that because someone works for the church that he spends his day pressuring others to give him every last dime they have. For all you know he could be an instructor, showing people how to communicate better, work more efficiently, and do better at school. 
he could be an auditor, spending his day helping others relieve themselves of the suffering from past traumas and sins. If you are utterly confused as to what my message is about the church, I understand. The church is confusing, and I continually have to sort them out for myself and others. If there's any reason why they have persisted so long, it's because it's nearly impossible to make complete sense of them. That which is thoroughly understood ceases. Remember that. I don't want the church to fail. I want them to reform. I clearly stated how I would go about it in my last journal entry. It's not likely they are going to, at least not the way I illustrated. If they won't even practice their own policies or technology anymore, they certainly aren't going to follow my advice. So where does that leave me and thee? It leaves us with Trom. Whereas I told the church what they could do to straighten themselves out in my last presentation, I can now tell you how to recover from being a Scientologist in this one. Take responsibility for buying into it their beliefs that the Scientology technology is perfect, and your only hope for spiritual freedom lies with them, and you better fork out some serious cash, and do everything they tell you, or you and possibly mankind itself is doomed for an eternity. The church has their beliefs. It was your choice to believe those same things too. If you never admit that to yourself, you will never get over it. Admitting this, you can now move forward. If you are an ex-member listening to this, I invite you now to watch the Trom vs. Scientology series. You'll learn where Scientology ends and Trom begins. You'll discover that Trom is not some half-baked squirrely practice invented by someone pissed off with L. Ron Hubbard who decided to go into competition with him, but rather an evolution of thought that Hubbard never dreamed of, yet would probably agree with if Dennis had ever had gotten to show his findings to Ron like he intended. With our help, you can go beyond Scientology, and more importantly, the Church, and make peace with the whole matter, once and for all. If you don't have a history with the Church, just go to the Start Here section of our channel and learn how Trom works. You'll be enjoying the benefits of Trom exercises in no time. Lastly, if after reviewing the material on this channel you are convinced you'd rather do Scientology than Trom, go ahead. It won't bother me in the slightest. I have no vested interest in what religion you practice or what method you use to resolve your mental and spiritual condition. I still use Scientology in areas that Trom doesn't cover. I look up words in the dictionary when I don't understand them. I use the tone scale, which is the chart of human emotions, to predict other people's behavior, and the tips for being more efficient when I am working. I'm not one to throw the baby out with the bathwater. So, if I am a traumer, but I still practice Scientology, what's the difference between me and the church? Other than the fact that I won't tell you who you can or can't be friends with, give you a bunch of rules to follow, or ask you for one cent of your money, I will tell you it's alright to practice Scientology and Trom both if that's what you want to do. The Church of Scientology, on the other hand, won't respect your right to do this, and will dismiss you from their ranks in the most shaming way possible if you try. I'm Allison Tandry, this is the Allison's Corner Audio Journal and we are DIY Salvation. Don't just use your mind. Resolve it.